What? We're breaking up. <sighs> Stop being silly, when I'm in. Listen, we're not breaking up. It's just a phase. And I understand you're going through a lot and we'll get through it. We'll work through it together. But we're not breaking up. Oh, that would be a stupid thing to do. It's a phase. You'll get over it. You know what I'll do? I'll set up a reservation for us at 7 at the place we really like. I'm going to go get dressed up where now you can go as you are or you can just maybe just change your jeans and your shirt before we go. Yeah, actually, I'll lay out the clothes that you should wear when you go out to dinner. Ugh, break up. You're silly, you know that. <laughs> I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kapana Shimange and this is How I Do Things, the show where you send me your questions and I let you know how I would do things. Now you can take it as entertainment, use it as advice, do with it what you will, use it, don't use it. Hey, it's up to you. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. Now, the other day, my husband and I were just driving around and having a little conversation, ta -la -la, nee, 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 in the car, minding our own business, just chasal sing, you know, and then it came out that my husband has never broken up with someone. He's never been the breakup ah. He's always been the breakup B, you know? And I was just like, what do you mean? He's like, nah, you know, when it comes to breaking up with people, um, you know, I make sure I do certain things and then she always breaks up with me. And I was like, this ninja. Ha. And then I started to think and I was just like, most of the times when I've broken up with people in the past, before my husband, I was the breakup her and not the breakup be. Not to say that I haven't been broken up with, but it has happened to me once or twice. And every time somebody's broken up with me, I'm just like, broke up with me? Breaking up with me? No, surely. So he broke up in nah. Anywho's thing is, men do this thing. And I just discovered it. Oh, I had to verify this on social media. And it's true. Men put out these signals ne? for us to receive these signals. And Runa fall into the hole and we break up with them. We receive this, these signals. Ruela Mukuting, we break up with them. How? Why? <laughs> this is nonsense. Look, I'm not saying that all men do this, but I feel as though this is a common thing. That what they do is that they send out the signals that, yo, it's time to break up, or they start acting strange, or they start being distant, or they kind of ghost us, and then we fall for it, and then we break up with them. Nonsense? But it is what it is. It's the game, boo. We must just learn how to play the game. Men are playing game all the time, and we just got to level up and also Know how to play the game so based on all the ways that i have broken up with people and i have been broken up with because i think i've got experience in this field i'm gonna let you know the do's and don'ts of breaking up with people since men want us to break up with them let's put ourselves on the game and equip ourselves with the do's and don'ts of breaking up with people anywho if you have any questions that you want to send to me head over to my instagram and look for this picture right here at kopana shimange you'll see that on my profile i've got the how i do things instagram highlight insta story highlight click on it and you'll find this picture first reply and let me know what question or scenario you want me to talk about in my next video and we'll do something about it because over here we're trying to put ourselves on the game you know what i mean like men are always dribbling us and they're doing all these things runa I, we are equipping ourselves. They don't know. They don't know. Number one, never ever break up with someone via text. Oh, oh, oh. gives me the chills. Once upon a time, text used to cost 50 cent. Ne? And you think to yourself, at least this person's taking 50 cent to break up with me. But now there's WhatsApp, there's iMessenger and all these other free ways to break up with a person. And you're thinking to yourself, now people can break up with you for free. Uh -uh. Don't break up with a person over text because it's not going to end there. You're just going to create this whole cycle of a person getting back to you. And very few times, you know, honestly, when you send somebody a text ne, and you're just there on some. Hi. I think it is time we break up. It's been good. Bye. Oh, best believe it's not going to end there. What we want is somebody to reply and just say, okay, it's not going to happen. 
somebody is going to want to know why he's gonna call you back and then it just sets off this whole chain reaction listen give the person enough respect to break up with him and take some time and some effort to do it a text is not enough to be honest with you a text is just opening a can of worms just don't do it and this just leads me to number two which is that you should do it in a verbal way there's so many ways that you can break up with a person these days email sms whatsapp instagram just texting the person sending it and washing your hands clean of this person to be honest with you that is really cruel it's cruel we can say all we want about men about how they are and maybe that they don't take the attention that we want them to take but this is your actions you'll be judged on what you do texting someone to break up with them is really cruel just don't do it do it in a verbal manner number three don't lie okay okay wait i need to think about this because here's the thing there's this thin line okay you don't want to be too honest with a person because again opening up a can of worms but you don't want to lie to the person you know i don't want to get to heaven and god is like why did you lie to see paul no so you gotta approach this matter with caution you don't want to tell him lies about why you're breaking up with him it's good to sometimes take the hit and take the blame for it and just say you know it's just me you know i need to work some things out and i'm not ready for this relationship right now always a good good reason that one works every time wash and way works every time but you don't want to be too honest with a person judging them you know what i don't like the way you brush your teeth sometimes your breath stinks your feet also smell because you don't cut your nails and list all of these things because honestly honesty is a one-sided thing and what i mean by that is my truth cannot be the same as your truth so when you're now divulging all of these things that a b c d e ra 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 you're just giving him all these reasons people get defensive and then he'll want to fight back those reasons and then guess what you won't be broken up with that person because he's going to convince you that i'll change i'll fix everything but if you want out you want out so this is what you're going to do number four you will take accountability for your part in the relationship all right if the man is a lying cheating scumbag tell him listen you're a liar you're a cheater i respect myself too much i think i deserve better let's break up again i've taken accountability in saying that listen i think that this relationship is wrong for me i'm out okay it's very easy to say what you want to do in the breakup because then he can't be all defensive about it but if you're just going to be listing one guy your armpits i'm not i don't like the way that you shave you know your butt looks funny <laughs> i don't like that you wake me up every single time you go for a 5 a.m run all of those things people get defensive so you want to avoid that defensiveness so take accountability speak from your point of view that i'd like to break up with you because i don't think this relationship is right for me or that i think i need to move on or i want to work on myself he can't be defensive about those things it's you and it's your life. So talk about your role. Talk about why you want to break up. And honesty, as usual, draw a line, say what is necessary. He doesn't need to know the whole thing. It's fine. Number four, don't pick a fight. You don't need to break up with a, you don't need all of these reasons to break up with a person. Sometimes, when you actually don't have a good reason to break up with a person, you just add all of these small little excuses <laughs> together. You pile them up and you think, yeah, this will work. You don't need to do that. And you don't need to break up with a person and think that you need this huge, big, dramatic reason to break up with a person. Sometimes the relationship just isn't right. That's happened to me. I've broken up with somebody thinking to myself, I want that oomph, that oomph in the relationship. It just didn't sit right with me. And I broke up with the person because he wasn't right for me. So you don't need to come up with this huge reason. You don't need to move to the other side of the country. You don't have to have this big bombastic reason to break up with a person. You don't need to pick a fight to break up with a person. You don't need to make it dramatic. No. If you feel as though you want to break up with a person, do it. You don't need to pile things up together or make it dramatic. When you are ready, go through with it. Don't drag a person on. If you feel as though you want to break up with them 
the last thing you want to do is to ghost a person or to drag them on knowing that you want to break up with them because you're too scared to break up with them just go through with it get there tell him the truth that you don't want to be in this relationship tell him what is necessary and just be direct if you can't see the person face to face to break up with them give them a call don't text them but be direct say your part don't drag a person on don't start acting funny don't try and switch the table send him signals that you want to break up with him close it off the last thing that people want is to beat around the bush about breaking up with someone go through with it number five don't feel bad about it i know breaking up with someone is actually hurtful you are gonna you are gonna break someone's heart or you're gonna make someone feel bad unless that guy's been wanting you to break up with him this whole time he's been sending you signals to break up with him and you're finally going through with the act breaking up is gonna make another person feel bad however don't feel bad about it and feel as though you have to do something to fix it you don't have to you don't have to make him feel better after you've broken up with him you've broken up he can go through whatever process he needs to go through to feel better about himself a mistake that we make is that after we break up with a person we want to make sure oh what's up are you gonna be okay no draw the line step over the line and don't come back and this just leads me to number six what you do want to do is move on you don't need to continuously call this guy back and continue to call him and sms him and send him a message hey i'm thinking about you draw the line cut it clean and don't go back after you break up with a person you want to for me this is what i have found for successful breaking up you know what unsuccessful breakup is is when you break up with a person and then you're still in contact and you're still talking to each other and then it kind of feels like you're still dating and then you end up dating again that is an unsuccessful breakup a successful breakup is when you have broken it off with this person he goes his way and you have gone yours so in order for you to have a successful breakup this is what i have done is that i cut contact i may still have his number or i'm going to delete it but the thing is, I don't actually want to keep that contact, especially three months after breaking up with this person. Cut the contact. Because if you continue to have contact with that person, you're going to fall back into the same situation. You're going to fall back into the flow of things and then boom, you're back together. So if you want to have a successful breakup, do you boo and let go of that man. Don't contact him, lose his number. For three months at least just cut all contact with the guy it's okay you're not a bad person for doing it like i said this is what i would do i had to learn this ne? this is something that i didn't learn at first i've had many unsuccessful breakups because every time it's just like you still want to check out on the person you still want to go out for drinks as friends it doesn't work it doesn't just cut it off do you without him for a while and that's how you go through a successful breakup and number eight you don't have to get into a new, another relationship immediately after breaking up with the guy it's okay to be single you can decide to be single for three years after breaking up with the guy it doesn't matter the point is you don't have to do anything either getting into a relationship or being single it is your choice do what you want to do set your own rules when you're in a relationship with someone, it's almost like you get into this habit of doing things the way that you do them because of the influence of your boyfriend. But because he's gone, you get to rewrite all the rules and you get to do what you want to do. So whether you want to get into a relationship immediately after breaking up with him or you want to stay single, it's up to you. Don't worry about how people are going to judge you from jumping from one relationship to getting into another relationship. Doesn't matter. Do what you want. You don't have, there's no mandatory waiting period to get into another relationship after breaking up with another person. There's none. If you want to jump straight into a relationship afterwards, go for it. It's your life. Do what you want. No mandatory waiting period. Do what makes you happy. Now look, breakups, breakups can be the nonsense because it's, ugh, they can be so messy. You know, you can get into arguments. The person is, you know, saying, listen, we're not breaking up. I'm still with you. All of those things can happen when you break up with a person and it can be kind of messy so do your best 
take accountability for what it is that you're doing, stay away from lies and try your very best not to get into an argument about why you need to break up with a person. If you're not feeling the relationship anymore, girl, break it off. No need to wait, no need to explain yourself. Do what makes you happy. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, beautiful people, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I know a whole bunch of you, a whole bunch of you have been watching my videos time and time and time again without subscribing. Who are you not to subscribe? Just subscribe. That's all I have for you guys today. Until next time, I'm Kapanish Shmange, and this is How I Do Things. Hey gorgeous, thank you so much for making it right until the end. I really do appreciate it. If you have not joined the gorgeous gang and gone to my website, here is the site here, www.gopanashimage.com and click on my face over here if you have not subscribed. I appreciate you so much. Until next time. Mwah.